when you get into fabrication, you start to wonder where am I going to get metal? I mean, even if it's just metal for practicing or then when you work on to doing larger jobs, where is a good source of getting metal? For, for starting out, the best thing to do is find yourself like a local either welding shop or any place that has metal and go in, ask them if they have any small drops. You know, it doesn't need to be much. If you're just practicing, just learning how to, you know, lay beads, you could use little four, five, six inch scraps and just weld them together. That's what I did. You could also, I mean, you can go to Home Depot and get pieces of metal, especially for small projects if you're doing stuff like that. But once you get into larger projects and needing, you know, larger pieces of metal, full sticks, half sticks, stuff like that, it becomes kind of evident that there's not really, you know, a good place. If, if it's a project for yourself and money's not really an issue for that project, you can always go to Home Depot. They're gonna rob you on, the small pieces are okay price. The, anything larger than the three or four foot pieces are just extremely expensive for what they are. So again, what you could do is go ahead and go to a, a welding shop, uh, any place, a sheet metal shop, any place that has stock of material. I've even gone to, uh, when I was first looking for a place around here, I went to a trailer manufacturer and they were good. You know, I was able to get full sticks from them. They would special order me a couple things. They were a little pricey. They seemed to be a place that stocked what they stocked and didn't do a ton of extra ordering. So if I wanted to pull stuff from the rack, it was reasonable price. They had a, a big markup because I don't think they were going through as much volume as the place I go now. The place I go now, now is a, a full-blown fabrication machine shop older place i i, I want to say an older place is a little better because let, let me take a step back between the trailer manufacturer and the place i go now i was going to a fence company i mean big large operation fences spiral staircases powder coating huge powder coating oven you know they were they were a big operation but it was a newer shop so they would order me what I need and they would have what I needed, but I didn't realize at the time I was, I was paying a good amount compared to what I could be paying. Now, I'm not big enough to go through a distributor. I mean, I, I might be able to, but you know, you pay for shipping, you pay for the truck to come to you. It, it gets a little pricey. You don't even get good pricing. It's one of those things where when you have an established account with a metal supplier, you get better pricing than Joe Schmo calling in off the street. You've got metal supermarkets. It's good. I mean, it seems like if you're nearby, it's it's good. A little overpriced. I mean, I've priced out a few things when I was in a pinch. It just seems a little overpriced. The best thing to find is, like I said, a big older shop that's doing a lot of ordering and a lot of turnover. You know, it helps if the owner's cool. The owner at the place I go to, really cool guy. Like, it's, it's a huge operation but they will place orders for me. They're, they're placing multiple orders a week for themselves anyway. So they constantly have a truck going. They also have had a, a, a business and an account with these metal suppliers for years and years and years. So they're already getting good pricing and they're not killing me on their markup. Sure, I know they're marking up their, their costs to me but I'm not really, it's getting incorporated in with their shipping costs that they're already paying for the truck to come out. So in the end run, I'm actually making it good on sticks. It's full sticks, you know, 22, 24 foot, they can special order. They, they do order from a few different places. And even for them, some places are more expensive than others. Alro is a very big metal supplier. For me to call in off the streets, I wouldn't get the same price as them. But also for them, for them to go through Alro compared to go to a different company, it, it helps to go sometimes to a different company. They price them out for me. You know, the receptionist will call around and she'll find me a good price, whether it be Alro or someone else. So the good thing about this place is they're they're super friendly. You, you're not gonna, you know, I, I can say all of this, but you might not find this kind of deal in your area, which is why you got to kind of look around. 
they're super awesome. They'll, they're a busy shop. So they're rather than, you know, me going in and bothering one of the yard guys, cause the yard guys have, they're, they're welders, they're forklift operators. They're, they're doing their own things. I go in and I kind of take care of myself. They're okay with that. Um, you know, when I place an order, my order is pretty much bundled together and always put in the same spot. So all I got to do is go. I do cut it in half because it's a full stick and I need to fit it in my van. Cut it in half, throw it in the back, write myself a slip. They invoice me, you know. It's, we're on good terms, so I'm kind of on net 30. Well, they're, they'll just invoice me and then the next time I come pick up an order, I'll drop off a check for the order that I already placed. Like I said, you're not going to find this kind of deal everywhere. It's an awesome deal. It's an awesome shop. But if you look around, you might be able to find this, especially if you're in an older area, an area that has older shops, you know, high turnaround, high volume. These guys are doing tons of jobs a day, a week, a month. Like them tacking on a little bit onto materials they're already ordering isn't make or break for them them floating me for the orders for a couple weeks isn't make or break. Like if it were me and I had a shop, I'm a small shop, you know? Yeah. You want to come in and ask me for some drops for, for practicing. Yeah. I'll totally give you whatever for free. And that's the thing. Like most metal shops are cool like that. If I wanted to, or if you wanted me to order something, I don't have the resources. So I would have to go through my supplier and then I might mark it up a little bit you know may or may not depends on you know if it's a friend yeah I'll, I'll order friends whatever they need but i'm not really i'm not the kind of shop where you walk in and say oh i need something welded i'm more of a i weld products and i sell products and i have what i have and i do what i do and i don't really stray too far outside of that it's 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 tough to get into and it's it's a whole different world compared to um doing you know retail and is kind of what i do more of develop parts make things sell them so i'm just about at my shop now i'm gonna get some supplies and go start heading over to the metal yard and i'll i'll give you a you know a quick view of uh what's going on over there what it looks like what i go through and you know and then we'll uh we'll take it from there
Well, that's it. That's pretty much how I stock my metal. And you can see they're cut in half. They're on the rack. The only downfall is sometimes it comes in a little rusty. It's not from sitting in the yard where it was at. If I leave it too long and it rains, it'll happen. But this was picked up right away. It does come to them a little bit rusty, but sometimes it's perfect. You can see the square tubing is, it's great. There's almost no surface rust. It's actually, the funny thing is, it's actually a little easier to sandblast slightly rusty metal than it is to sandblast metal with the mill scale on top of it. So it makes it even a little quicker for processing. This is all cut up, sandblasted, powder coated anyway. So no big deal. You can hit it with a wire cup brush and it'll come off fine. So that's pretty much it. If you want some more tips like this, if you like this kind of video, let me know and I can make more and I'll see you in the next one.